to make the crossing. They would have struggled to get back. And 2020 has been a record year, with 730 attempts or crossings of the channel involving nearly 7,900 migrants, three and a half times more than last year. Today's tragedy brings the number of migrants who've died trying to reach England so far this year to seven. The Home Secretary has made the issue of channel crossings a priority. This afternoon she tweeted she would do everything she could to stop callous criminals exploiting vulnerable people. Most of the Iranians trying to reach Britain are camped out on waste ground near Calais. Many well-educated from middle-class backgrounds who've paid smugglers tens of thousands of pounds to get them this far. They say they are fleeing religious and political persecution. The UK says France is not doing enough to tackle the issue. MPs around Calais say Britain, not France, is the magnet for migrants and no amount of policing will stop them. Sejal Karia. News at 10. There's been another set of worrying and sad coronavirus statistics today. There were nearly 23,000 new cases in the past 24 hours, the fourth highest on record. The number of deaths from people who tested positive was 367. That's more than double the figure of a fortnight ago. The deaths haven't been so high since the end of May. For those who have had a serious case of the virus and survived, the one consolation has been the thought that it may provide some immunity. But new research from Imperial College London suggests the antibodies don't last very long. How quickly they disappear depends on someone's age and how badly they had it. So we've now bought three and a half million antibody tests. That will allow people to see whether they have had the virus and are immune to it. They are positive when they do come back. Uh, they can be confident they will have some immunity. We need to have immunity to protect ourselves from this in the future. There's no doubt everyone hoped having coronavirus once would lead to some sort of immunity. We were even told it could mean going back to work, but not now. A massive study by Imperial College London suggests our own antibodies produced to fight it decline pretty quickly.